Right, good morning, folks. Now, yesterday, my sister asked me, um, could I make, or did I know where I could get a carriage from, like a the old-fashioned gypsy caravan? When we had a look around the inter internet, I couldn't find one, but I did say I could make one for her. And she's bought one of her sons, uh, this beautiful horse. She's bought three. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. And it's got everything on it. But she wanted it to be attached to a carriage. So I'm going to attempt to do that. I mean, we might not get it done, but hopefully we will. Uh, and that Shire horse there will then, um, maybe one or two of them will stand side by side. She could probably get three actually, but you only need the one normally. So, um, we're going to have a go at that. So I just need this. I'm going to keep it in the bag because I need it for the size. So if that's the horse, then the cart's going to have to be about that. Let's have a look. It's going to have to be about nine inches long from the horse. And the height from the base of the wheel where the wheel will go. And I've cut these ready. So that's going to be there halfway down the wheel. Eight Eight tall by, I might say ten across. No, nine's about right. So eight inches high by nine inches right. So now I'm just going to put this back together. So now I've got the measurements. And we shall see if we can get this done. Oh, hey, you go back in there, mate. And I can keep using that as a measurement. But she did want me to take pictures and that along the way. So I might as well film it as a tutorial. So I'm going to just put that there. Oh, I'll move that out of the way. Because I don't want to get it destroyed. Or anything happen to it. Right, so what I've done is I've taken this old tube and cut four wheels. I've sanded them down. They need a little bit more work. But I need a base for those to go on. I've got the rods for the middle. And I did start and collect a few bits and pieces. Now she did say she wanted a, like a traditional one, so that's the the best one I could find. But it's like a working caravan. I asked her if she wanted to have some bits and like some pans hanging, probably a mop bucket and thing, you know, old fashioned one. And so do you remember, I made these. I've shown you how to do them, they're all on video. So I'm going to add that in with the caravan. And I've got some spares that I've made just in case um we change it so because you don't know got lots of buckets i've made some are big some are small we've got some mini hats that can hang color and hang i've got the cogs and everything that i need and i've got the metal work that i need as well uh, so that's in that um, I'm not sure if the lid will come off and reveal anything. If so, we can put a bed in it. So I've got, well, I've got the bed there. You know, that's a seat for the front of the car uh, for the caravan. I did fish out some um, miniature bits and pieces, some pots and pans in case we need to put them on. So they're all in those sort of things. Old stool. I didn't know which one. They're both the same. Well, one's slightly bigger than the other. Even a toolbox. Oh, it doesn't come off, you twit, Fiona. But it says toolbox. But what we can do is to attach this underneath on a like a, a a rack of something. Do you know what I mean? So you can put it underneath. Stool can be altered. Little chair can be altered. You know what? Carry on the car on the uh, caravans or inside. Um, hose pipe tools, obviously, that can hang from the outside. I can't even attach them, whatever. Uh, so I've just fished out loads of little, even the towels and that that I made. 
you know, these, they're just handmade, so we might need to use those, we might not, like, we could add a washing line on it or something. Some pans I made, that was made out of a bottle, um, uh, cap off a spray bottle, just painted it and added handles, well, uh, just different things that we can use, more pans, another hat, so, I've got a, a few bits and pieces together and we'll see. Like I've got these mini baskets and that so we could add one or two of those attached to the caravan. A lantern might be too big but I have got a smaller one. So that's what we've got and I will be back to start this off. So I've kept one of these out which is like a window that I made for something else but we can use this. It didn't get used for what I wanted. I have two of them. So we can, so but it's all knit and that'd be nice for at the side. We can do that up, you know, like that. Uh, so what I need now is for the measurements. So like I said, it's going to be about nine. Let's get a fresh piece of board. It's going to be nine inches long. Um, and we said, didn't we, by eight inches high. So let's just sort this out. Nine inches long, and we're going to need two of these, obviously, for two sides. Now, let me get my knife. Uh, bye. Now, I'm... That's nine inches long by eight. So that's the size of the caravan. I think that's going to be nice for that size horse. I can cut it down. There's no problem. We can undo it and cut it down if we need to. Let me just pop that there. I'm not sure if we will. And I did say to her, I will just try and make one. Um, if you don't want it, I won't be offended. She's my baby sister. We're all over 50, but we still call her baby sister. <laughs> right, so that's going to be the size of the caravan, I think. Now, do you know what? I'm, I think that would be better, to be honest. That's more the size. So I'm going to use that, and we've already got two pieces cut then. Yeah, I just think this is going to be a better... It just looks a little bit big, that that's better they look yeah that's more the caravan but obviously I need to shape them so we're going to trim some of that off now I would say oh, from there let me well we'll use this as a bottom section it doesn't matter let's just have a look I would probably only go in a, about an inch So what I'm going to do is to take the caravan from this point. This is the top, this is the bottom. I'm just doing it this way because it's easier for me. I think, let me just think. I've got to think about this. Is that too big? It might be. I'm, I'm going to take that half in again. We'll just do it like that. Not as So it's not as defined as being that shape, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> that's about halfway yeah that's it that's what I'm after so let's just do it the same with this one Yeah, I didn't need much. Remember to save all your bits if you ever attempt it. Now these are A3 sheets of chipboard. We do sell them. So we do have them in the shop and you could purchase them and do the same. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So that's the sides. And now what we've got to do is we've got to get the front. 
and the fronts will be that shape. So let me just see, I need this to look about right. So if we do that, that's going to be five. And that I would probably do at five and a half. I wouldn't do it at any. Let me just see if would six do. Five by six. Okay. So I need another sheet. Cut them at six to start with. We won't waste anything because I can use all this chipboard up in other things. And then we need to shape the bottom section of these. Uh, so we're going for this six wide and then this one needs to be five. So we go in half an inch. Yeah. On both of them. Might you hope? Okay, now what I'm going to need is something round like that. Actually, it needs to be rounder than that, doesn't it? So, let me just see. Uh, oh, this, this might do. Let's have a look. Um, that's more like it. And I can round that off a little bit more. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, that's it. And that has to be exactly the same. I'll save them bits because they always come in handy. And now we just have to make sure that these little things... See, because that's going to fit on the side like that, so this might need cutting down. Yeah, that's going to go to there. So I'm going to do it like that. It does need cutting down. That's fine. Let me measure what that is. So if I take two inches off that, two. Yeah, I'll take two inches off of this then. Like I said, I'm not sure of the height of the caravan, but we're going to take two off it anyway. Because we've got the roof to go on as well, don't forget. I know, shut up. Okay. So, and the roof's going to go on top, so that's going to be the caravan like that. And then the roof hangs over. Like that. I need to round this off more. So what I'm going to do is attempt to do it by hand. Where did I just put my pencil? Here. So if we... That's it. See, like that. That's better. We're not taking the height off. We're just rounding it more. So we need the same on that one. And then that, like we say, will stand like that. So 
So that's going to be the caravan like that. That's a nice size caravan. Okay, so let's just see where the door's going to go. I have to take the door out of this, don't I? You're not going to need any more than that. So if I do five and a half there, um, and the doorway, one and a half in, one and a half in. That's about right, I think. Yeah. And then we have to do a half door, don't we? The door will be split like a barn door. I think that's what they call them, barn doors. Right, so we've got that. And that's the door that now has to be cut into two. Well, uh, it'll, be, it'll be like that, but open. Right, okay, so make sure that's the top and that's the bottom, yep. So that's the door. So I've got the uh, back, sorry, the front, the two sides and the back. And I'm going to put a little window in at the back. Now, this is what I wanted to do, is to have that in the back of the caravan. And I think that will look fab. But I'm going to bring that down. Oh, now, we've got to remember, because of this. But we can cut it to fit. That's not a problem. Or we can always lower it down anyway. Where's that going to go to? That line. We can go above it then. We could do it that way. Or maybe that way. Let's just see if that'll fit. Yes. Right, okay. Okay, okay. Let's think about this. I don't actually want it there. I might not put one on the back. We don't need to, do we? I'll put a window on, yes. So, let's have a look at this. Um, so, that's where my window is going to be. And if I hang that there, I need to cut the window there and there. And I need to go there and there. Whoa, way off, mate. We'll just see what looks, if that looks about right. So I need to cut it there. And there, there, and there. Okay, window out. Done now. A bit late, isn't it? There. Oh, that's going to look fab. Isn't that going to look fab? Right, so that's that window. Yeah, that's the purple one. So that goes with that. Now, uh, the doorway, we've got that. And I do want windows in the side of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that line, actually, as a guide. I might not put that wood on it yet. We'll see, because I've got other bits I can do. Uh, we need window here. So let's see what we've got. Yeah, I don't think the window needs to be... Well, I could do it there, really. Do a longer one. That's the window. So <laughs> let me just find out, because I've got this one. <coughs> see if we can do that. That's what it needs to do, is to fit there. OK, let me just level this up by eye. Okay, so I need there. So 
So that's it. So we've got another window in there. Uh, I think we'll have the fancy one for this side. They should fit both. Yeah. And then that for the back. So that's that. Um, not going to put one on the other side because I don't... You, you're not really going to see them. Right. Um, hopefully you can see this. I found some of this uh, to put behind those and then I have got some lacy fabric to make some curtains so I mean that will be there like that so there's enough there and I've got another piece there if I need to use it so really that now needs to be on there and so if I cut there like that oh sorry so if I can glue that onto there like that and then that needs to be cut there I need two the same size That's one for that window. And I will leave silver uh, because that's what they were. And one for that window. So what I'm going to put that on with is um, E6000. And then push some weight onto it. Let me get a, oops, a mat. They won't take long to dry. And then take hold of the netting. See, like that. And then we're just going to pop that on there. Put some pressure onto that. Now, hang on. Why is that not looking right? Well, I can cut anything off I don't like. And then I've got this piece which again will go on this section and that will go on there like that and that will also go on there like that right and those two need to be left to dry up oh, there will do I think Hang on, somewhere bloody flat. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. So we've got that. Um, for the door... Now, let me just move these pieces out of the way because I don't want to lose them. So for the doorway, we're going to need um, a frame round there. And these are the two pieces... I Oh, no, that's out the other window, isn't it? Where's the two pieces are cut? That was the top and bottom of the door. So they're the pieces that I now need to make frames for. Fiona, you're absolutely stupid sometimes. It says it on it and you're still doing it wrong. So I'm not actually looking and reading the words. Do you know what it might be? Have I got that back to front? Because that's sometimes what happens. Yeah, see? That's why. Oh, not a daft of the thought then. Right, so I'm now, I now need to build frames for these. Uh, now, I've got some really nice um trimming for that if i can just find it oh we need to do a ladder for the front as well 
Let me just find my box of trimmings. Or my pack of trimmings. It's, I mean, I've no measurements or nothing. I'm doing this out of my blooming head. So, um, I've got these that can be used for the windows, uh, the doors. And so they will just go on like that, like a frame. But I want to paint those before I add them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these. So we have that. So once those are on in place, like that. Sorry, I hope you're seeing this. Uh, I'm just going to put them on like that. I think that'll be fine. Right, okay, so I need another one like that. Let me measure that because I want to make sure I get this right. If I just do a centimetre all round, fit there. But this will be a window that we, we can open. So that will open. And that needs to go on a hinge, which I now need to go and get. Now I'm just going to share with you a little trick. If you take, um, if they're not solid, I don't know if these are solid. Yeah, they're solid. Hang on. Then take a sharp tool or something and poke a hole down the middle. Some of them have already got holes in them, which is good. But if not, make your own. You only need the hole in one one end, at least halfway through. The nib of me things come out. Well, what a banana. Oh, my God. Just nothing wants to go right for me. Right. Oh, it's, oh that's why. I knew you twit, Fiona. Because you can use them both ends. <laughs> the jewel, aren't they? Yeah, the jewel. But then you've got this, okay? And then what you do is, of course you're gonna need a little bit of wire, so I'll just get that. Right, so you take some wire. I'm not sure if this is the right thickness. May do, may not. Obviously you're gonna cut it to size. I'm just gonna hook it over Well, you need it there, on the point end. Bend it over. And then you can cut that bit. You just need to cut it down. And then you glue this. Obviously, you've got to make sure that they're the right width apart. Like that. Um, and then when you're ready, you can slot that into place. Yeah, but anyway, that's what you do. And then you can glue that onto there. And then you can open your door. That's how you do them. So really, I've got to, oh, and we've got to do the base. So we've got to put this together. So I'm going to take that off for now. We're going to have it slightly better than that. Now I have to put this unit together. Okay, now I got some of this, it arrived a few minutes ago. Uh, so I've got uh, A3 corrugated sheets so that I can also make other things instead of using all my chipboard up because this is expensive, that's not. Right then, so what I've got to do now is to put this together 
and that's going to go that way. I'm not even sure which way she actually wants this to be, but uh, it's going this way. <laughs> I think that's going to be about, because it'll be up here. Yes, I think that's about right. And you can put two horses on that. You can have one here and one there. We'll do it. <laughs> I'm going to continue. 27 and a quarter. Well, we can cut it off there. What did I say? By like twelve and a half. I'm going to do by thirteen. That gives me a little bit of play. So that's the same size underneath, no matter what. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's just cut it then. I'm actually going to cut it outside of the because it is only the base. Okay, let's have a look. And that needs to sit on there as square as possible. Now what I'm going to do is to sit that on another ledge for stability and I need a little bit hanging over. Especially there because we need the seat. So that can't be any less than that. The reason why I'm doubling it is because I need a ledge at the front for the seating, uh, but also to put the wheels on. So this has to fit here like that. As perfectly as I can get it. Right, I'm just using the tacky glue. Right, I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Take a brush. Oh, and I left my bloody Brushes downstairs. I want you to do it with my finger. I've left my brushes downstairs. I didn't wash them. Well, I'm going to take a break in a minute and then I'll go down and get them. And I haven't got my pinny on. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I can trim anything off that I don't want. And then what I need to do here is to put a piece in here, which I was hoping to do with chipboard. I like that. Oh, silly elf. And then I can trim that bit off. I like that. And then we can just trim that bit off as well. Oops. So I'm just going to press that down. I like that. we need some pressure on that really so 
We're just going to pop on anything that's heavy just to help that settle. Right, I just want to share with you so far what we've done, what I've done, should I say. I'm just about putting the boards on the side. I've put this lip on, this is wood, because the wheels, like I say, the wheels will be going on there like that. Sorry. Um, I've got to finish off the wheels, of course, and we're doing it like wooden slats all the way around. I, I did put emblems on the front and then decided against putting them on first. I'm going to go over it with the slats and then we'll decorate it, which seemed a better idea. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, um, but I've done the top section, uh, sorry, the bottom section of the door and I've used um, a medium that you can, it's, it's like a leading. So it dries hard. Then I, when I paint it and paint over all of that and I put the metal bits in as well for decoration and then we'll do rub and buff over them. But that will then sit on the bottom section of that door. Um, sorry, like that. And then obviously we've got the top section to do as well. So that needed to be done first so the decoration could dry. So that's that. All the other decorations um, uh, can go on top of all the beading that I'm doing. All this. I mean, I can keep the camera rolling for a little bit, but you don't really want to be sat watching me just putting layer after layer after layer on. Right, so... Um, basically what I'm doing, though, is when I get to something like the window, that's just... Uh, Trim that off. Um, is to make sure that I get it right. I make sure the length is right by doing that. Oh, stick down, mate. And then I can just glue that in. Now I am using um, wood glue. That's supposed to be on a slant, mate. Cutting it with the wrong scissors. <laughs> so I'm using this wood glue because it does work and it's drying up so I need to use it it's going to have a beading on so I'm not worried about it being uneven at all because the beading will make sure it isn't right, let's pin that down but yeah I'm quite enjoying it so sister dear I hope you watch it Right, these should be ready. I put the structure strips on and uh, they're ready to trim off now, so I just trim them off. Put my clips away. Yeah, so it's going to look really good. So I'm just going to see if I can trim these off now while we're waiting. And that's all it is, it's just trimming them down. So it's really supported now. And we throw them in the pot because they can be used for something else. Yeah. See? That looks... That's sturdy now. And like I say, we're just going to continue doing this. And I just cut them all roughly about uh, one and a quarter centimetres. You can have them different ones. They don't have to be exactly the same. Uh, let's do this one. So I'm just going to cut that straight. I will go around them all, make sure they're all glued down. Some of them take a little bit longer than others to settle. Yeah. I might even change to using the 
um, normal glue, but for now I'm just... Right, that needs to be a little bit thinner. I'm just going to cut this one. There we go, perfect. Let me just see about using the glue gun, is it? Because my glue gun's playing up. Everything's gone wrong. I've had to buy a new camera. My paints and things are going dry. Um, God, what else have I had to do? My um, Just been informed when Ray went up to the computer place because my computer keeps cutting out. I've, they've said she needs a new hard drive. So I, I'm just... You know, things are hard enough as it is. I'm thinking, ah! <laughs> but hey ho, well, whatever. Everything goes wrong at once, though, doesn't it? Don't you notice that? Right, so. Straighten this one off. Right, these ends are maybe a little bit dry. Oh, that's. One of them came up then. Oh, sticking down. Just takes a little bit, uh, that's it, a little bit of time because it was wood glue. Right, okay, they're all fine. Uh, and a piece, I need another slither, the bit I cut off before should do. You know, for the other one. And as I said, they don't all have to be perfect. Right, sorry about that. Now... What I'm going to do, I've got uh, these two wooden bits here and that's what the first one's going to be sat on. And that's why I left them slightly longer. And that, um, you know, I can sort it out from there.
I'm really pleased how it's turned out and well I hope you are I hope it's what you're after wait till it's decorated and then you can tell me <laughs> There, that's going to look absolutely fantastic. Now, um, the thing is, where did I put my bits and pieces now? Right, now it all has to be painted black. But I actually want to put one of these on the front here. I, I'm going to put a, a thing on here as well. There we are. Let me just see. Out there, because I want it to be quite authentic looking and real. That's how I do my things. They have to be look lifelike. That's it. That'll do. Now glue. See if we have decoration on there, and then we can paint all of that. So I need my glossy accents for that. Not glossy accents, the E6000. And this can all go on ready for painting. We always have fancy decoration on gypsy caravans. All the excess glue to go on. No, they're going on definitely. Okay. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Oh. I say all of this can go on now. That's just to get all the excess glue off. Where's my... Hang on. Right, I've got another thing that I need to do. I've just spoken to my sister and she loves it so far. Thank God. <laughs> so, where's that come off? Oh, my tube, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start and add these. You'll have to bear with me. These strips. I thought I'd cut some. No? Have I? Well, they're not long enough. I'm going to have to cut some, sorry. Not that they haven't got to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect. Right, I think we'll do one here which is to there <sighs> yeah so right so we're gonna have one here let me just squash this into the other bits and then we're going to have the other one here. Right, that has to look straight-ish. Like that. And then I need to cut some more. Don't want it too close. Try and make it even-ish. That look, yep. And the bit I cut off should be enough. Like that. 
that's about it for what I need. <laughs> there, that's looking more and more like one, isn't it? Right, I just need to cut some more strips. They're going to be long enough. Let's do the other side. Oops, it is. Like that. it right so we've got that and that and now we want some on the back okay let's sort this out it's getting quite heavy so we need one there to go like that Right, I'm just sharing with you what I've done and uh, I did have wheels but I didn't have the right sizes so I've made my own and like I said, we've made it out of, like, me, we, me, I, made it out of this tube because it's quite chunky and I've used skewers which I've cut, one main one and then cut three at uh, six to go either side I've used the dinner plates off my miniatures to go on one side which will be the inside that will attach to the skewer that's going to go in like that I will drill a hole and then on the outside I had these little wooden whatever they are and I've put them on the outside so I've made my own wheel and I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> uh, and I know my sister's going to be watching the video. I've just sent her a picture of it. And I think that's just as good as the wheels I had for the... Um, uh, um, sorry, I left my phone on, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I think they're just as good as um, the ones I had that were bought. Now, this is a caravan so far the gypsy caravan i've just added these sections on just cut out a chipboard but the skewer will just go from one hopefully it'll fit properly yeah from one to the other and obviously when i've um drilled those that will just slot on there and that's going to be perfect I'm absolutely thrilled with it, to be honest, and I hope my sister likes it. Yeah, that'll go on there. And I've got a ladder here that we're going to attach to the side because it, it is for her son. Uh, but I'm also... Um, oh, we can attach it to the side here. You know, we can tuck it down, down there. I can shave it a bit and tuck it down. But um, I've got a lantern thing that I've just added there, a little hook. Uh, that's the oops <laughs> take it out woman that's the base of the doors done the bottom section these are all ready and then I'm just drying this section maybe yeah which I put the hooks on for the door to open and that will open in there like that and I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to be decorating it inside I'm not sure we'll see how we get on because it's hard work <laughs> but I'm loving it and my sister said, oh, I want one in red and black. No, red and gold. Oops. 
I just hope that my nephew likes it. I'm thrilled at that, absolutely thrilled. Looks good, doesn't it? I'll be back. <laughs>